Hello friends, welcome to Interior Decor Designs, the channel where you will find modern interior design videos related to interior decoration and designs. We are once again back with a new video. Today we will look at sliding room divider designs. Walls are not only permanent, but too many of them can stifle the aura of an already small home. Plus, they are neither comfortable nor cost efficient to install. A sliding and hanging room divider, however, is temporary, stylish and can be installed without much hassle. Wall seems permanent and drastic compared to sliding dividers or sliding room dividers. The wonderful advantage of having sliding room divider is that they are incredibly flexible and allow you to juggle with your space. However, you want open up a room, close it off for privacy or use the divider however you want and close the sleeping area with sliding dividers if you want to have a studio apartment or if you simply enjoy having an open floor plan. This way you will be able to link it to the rest of the space and still enjoy all the privacy you need. There are two possibilities. The sliding room divider can either be floor to ceiling and cover the entire space or they can be partial room dividers and leave a bit of open space above. It all depends on whether or not you want an unbroken ceiling. Sliding divider can be used to separate any two spaces. A very practical option is to use them to separate the living room or other space from the kitchen or bar area. The screens are quite interesting in this case, creating a Moroccan inspired look. Another great possibility is to separate the bedroom and the home office with sliding dividers. These two spaces are often combined and you can still have that look whenever you wish. Close off the workplace at night so you can relax properly. Of course, sliding dividers can also be used in numerous other situations. For example, they can separate or connect a dining room area and living area. These two rooms are often a part of the same open floor plan but it's useful to be able to use them separately if needed. Consider the possibility to be able to divide a room spacious home office into two separate zones. One can be actual workplace with the desk and storage and other can be a social area or a space where you unwind or search for new ideas. You can either divide these two areas or use them as one. Sliding glass dividers can allow you to make the most of the layout. If for example, you use them to separate an L-shaped floor plan, one portion can be dining space or sitting area and the other can be media room or living space. Instead of permanently separating one area from the rest of the open floor plan, a more flexible option is to use a sliding space dividers and if you don't design them to go all the way up to the ceiling, you can maintain an open look throughout even when this particular area is enclosed. If glass room dividers don't match your style or the decor in your home, try something different. For example, how about some sliding barn door dividers to separate two rustic spaces? They are actually quite elegant with their robust look and beautiful stain. Perhaps the most advantageous option is to use the sliding room dividers for the kitchen. This way you can have an open floor plan but you can still separate this particular area from the rest of the space if you need. Sliding hanging room dividers can be a solution for breaking up a large space or can be used to provide privacy in a small space. The panel move easily across a hanging track much as a curtain would move on a long curtain rod. The panel can be made of almost any lightweight material or if the transverse rod is sufficiently sturdy, even heavier material. The most common use of sliding hanging room divider include privacy protection, decoration and heat control. The use of sliding hanging room divider for privacy. A common use of sliding room dividers is to provide privacy. They can be used to mask a bathroom dividing it from a bedroom or they can be used to mark off the bedroom portion of a bed sitting room. They can be pushed aside during the day especially if the bed is foldable sofa or chair bed or even a day bed. 
This allows the family or guest to use the room as if it is were not a bedroom at all. When the sleep time comes, the panel can be pulled across, creating a sleep space. You can also use the hanging room for decorative use. Not all spaces need to be divided off for privacy. Sometimes all that need is needed is to mark off a section off from a room, showing that its purpose is to separate from the rest of the space. Such as creating a small office for setting aside a dining area. While privacy might sometimes be desired, it is not essential. In these cases, the hanging divider might be a panel of lacy macrame strands of decorative beads or chains of pearlescent plastic circles, preventing draft and heat loss for halls and doorways. Sliding hanging room dividers can be used to conserve heat or air conditioning depending upon the season. Frosted plexiglass panels such as might be used for a bathroom shower. Make an elegant way to create a hall entrance and that will control the draft from an open door. Heavy fabric for a frame can serve the same purpose. Can cotton be used as a room dividers is a question that is asked by most of us. Curtains are probably one of the easiest sliding hanging room dividers. They are lighter than framed hanging panels, yet can provide both a, fan, a privacy screen and a barrier against drop. More than that, the wide variety of fabric that are available make them shoe in for designer choice. You can use solid colors as a backdrop or select large print or bar bro code for a brighter backdrop. For more furniture, that has dark or neutral colors. Partial sliding hanging room dividers. A hanging rod with a muslin cotton fabric spread on it to give an idea of seclusion, or for instance, can be easily put up and removed within minutes. Slightly more inclusive models like sliding door that span from the floor to ceiling, a bracket for a flexible room separator can help give the room more section without turning into a cramped space. In the later category, your options range from a barn door, folding door, pocket door, stacking door and room dividers to private doors and fixed panels of transparent or opaque glass. While sheen curtains may provide an illusion of separation, sizable sliding barn doors for foldable ones can offer an excellent sense of distinct yet connected compartment. In an open concept home, whether you choose wood, veneer, resin or acrylic insert or laminated frames, aluminium or frosted glass, do keep in mind that it's better if the sliding hanging room divider are lightweight and easy to operate. Sliding dividers are easier to install and can be folded and detached to place them elsewhere without much trouble. You have a variety of design options including wideboard soundproof sliders. They are inexpensive and can last for a good number of years. Look for functional construct that is also durable and fits your interior designs. Although the sliding and hanging doors are multifunctional options best suited for modern homes which do not have a lot of space, you can use them in big houses to create separate spaces in your bedroom, office or kitchen area. There are two types of sliding room dividers. Wall sliding room dividers and the other is in-frame sliding room dividers. Wall sliding room dividers is a one-runner system and the door slide open to the left and right to reveal the full opening, a percher, as long as there is enough space either side on the opening. In frame sliding room dividers, there is a system of two-runner systems, much like a sliding wardrobe door, where the door fits within a frame. The sliding room divider can either be floor to ceiling and cover the entire space or they can be partial room dividers and leave a bit of open space above. It all depends on whether or not you want an unbroken ceiling. Sliding divider can be used to separate any two spaces. A very practical option is to use them to separate the living room or other space from the kitchen or bar area. The screens are quite interesting in this case creating a Moroccan inspired look. Another great possibility is to separate the bedroom and the home office with sliding dividers. These two spaces are often combined and you can still have that look whenever you wish. 
close off the workplace at night so you can relax properly of course sliding dividers can also be used in numerous other situations for example they can separate or connect a dining room area and living area these two rooms are often a part of the same open floor plan but it's useful to be able to use them separately if needed consider the possibility to be able to divide a room spacious home office into two separate zones one can be actual workplace with the desk and storage and other can be a social area or a space where you unwind or search for new ideas you can either divide these two areas or use them as one sliding glass dividers can allow you to make the most of the layout if for example you use them to separate an l shaped floor plan one portion can be dining space or sitting area and the other can be media room or living space instead of permanently separating one area from the rest of the open floor plan a more flexible option is to use a sliding space dividers and if you don't design them to go all the way up to the ceiling you can maintain an open look throughout even when this particular area is enclosed if glass room dividers don't match your style or the decor in your home try something different for example how about some sliding barn door dividers to separate two rustic spaces they are actually quite elegant with their robust look and beautiful stain perhaps the most advantageous option is to use sliding room dividers for the kitchen this way you can have an open floor plan but you can still separate this particular area from the rest of the space if you need sliding hanging room dividers can be a solution for breaking up a large space or can be used to provide privacy in a small space the panel move easily across a hanging track much as a curtain would move on a long curtain rod the panel can be made of almost any lightweight material or if the transverse rod is sufficiently sturdy even heavier material the most common use of sliding hanging room divider include privacy protection decoration and heat control the use of sliding hanging room divider for privacy a common use of sliding room dividers is to provide privacy they can be used to mask a bathroom dividing it from a bedroom or they can be used to mark off the bedroom portion of a bed sitting room they can be pushed aside during the day especially if the bed is foldable sofa or chair bed or even a day bed this allow the family or guest to use the room as if it is were not a bedroom at all when the sleep time comes the panel can be pulled across creating a sleep space you can also use the hanging room for decorative use not all spaces need to be divided off for privacy sometimes all that need is needed is to mark off a section off from a room showing that its purpose is to separate from the rest of the space such as creating a small office for setting aside a dining area while privacy might sometimes be desired it is not essential in these cases the hanging divider might be a panel of lacy macrame strands of decorative beads or chains of pearl scent plastic circles preventing draft and heat loss for halls and doorways sliding hanging room dividers can be used to conserve heat or air conditioning depending upon the season frosted plexiglass panels such as might be used for a bathroom shower make an elegant way to create a hall entrance and that will control the draft from an open door heavy fabric for a frame can serve the same purpose can curtain be used as a room dividers is a question that is asked by most of us curtains are probably one of the easiest sliding hanging room dividers they are lighter than framed hanging panels yet can provide both a fan a privacy screen and a barrier against drop more than that the wide variety of fabric that are available make them shoe in for designer choice you can use solid colors as a backdrop or select large print or bar brocode for a brighter backdrop for more furniture that has dark or neutral colors partial sliding hanging room dividers a hanging rod with a muslin cotton fabric spread on it to give an 
idea of seclusion or for instance can be easily put up and removed within minutes slightly more inclusive models like sliding door that span from the floor to ceiling a bracket for a flexible room separator can help give the room more section without turning into a cramped space in the later category your option range from a barn door folding door pocket door stacking door and room dividers to pivot doors and fixed panels of transparent or opaque glass while sheen curtains may provide an illusion of separation sizable sliding barn doors for foldable ones can offer an excellent sense of distinct yet connected compartment in an open concept home whether you choose wood veneer resin or acrylic insert or laminated frames aluminum or frosted glass do keep in mind that it's better if the sliding hanging room divider are lightweight and easy to operate sliding dividers are easier to install and can be folded and detached to place them elsewhere without much trouble you have a variety of design options including wideboard soundproof sliders they are inexpensive and can last for a good number of years look for functional construct that is also durable and fits your interior designs although the sliding and hanging doors are multifunctional options best suited for modern homes which do not have a lot of space you can use them in big houses to create separate spaces in your bedroom office or kitchen area there are two types of sliding room dividers wall sliding room dividers and the other is in frame sliding room dividers wall sliding room dividers is a one runner system and the door slide open to the left and right to reveal the full opening aperture as long as there is enough space either side on the opening in frame sliding room dividers there is a system of two runner systems much like a sliding wardrobe door where the door fits within a frame we would recommend a four door sliding room divider system for most of the room dividers within a frame however if the opening is narrow then a two door room divider is best the four room divider allow you any of the doors to be moved which gives complete flexibility and allows for the option to position furniture in front of a door the most common access is to slide the two middle doors left and right sliding room divider can also be used to partition off a corner of a room so friends hope you like this video if you did so don't forget to like this video and also if you haven't subscribe our channel subscribe it for more interesting videos in future and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future updates for more ideas you can visit our website interdecordesigns.in or else download our app all the link is there in the description box below we'll meet soon again in the next one till then bye and take care